So tomorrow we'll be doing the silver lamb. The purpose of this lab is to determine the percent by mass of silver in a wire of sterling silver. Sterling silver is a silver copper alloy. So you will be starting off with a wire and it is made of a bunch of silver atoms and a few copper atoms. It's mostly silver. So your job is going to be to break that apart, separate all the atoms, and find out the weight of just the silver. And out of the total weight of the wire, the weight of the silver over the total weight is your percent. For example, if you have a 10 gram wire and it, you find out through math that it contains nine grams of silver, then the percent silver in the wire is simply nine over 10 times 100, or 90%. I'm going to let you pause and write down the purpose. So what is the process that you're going to be using? It's actually pretty cool. You get to dissolve wire in acid. How cool is that? So here we go. You take your wire, you throw it into some 8 molar nitric acid, 10 mils of it. Then my family's making faces at me right now, so it's hard to concentrate. Okay, so you dissolve it in the nitric acid. All right, and here's what you're going to see. You're going to see a clear solution turn blue. I'd like to throw it out as a little extra credit for you guys to see why. Why does the solution turn blue? You'll see a nasty gas comes off that's a mixture of NO2 that turns into N2O4. And if we could take a sneak peek inside the solution here, we would see a mixture of silver ions with copper ions dissolved. And notice you've some completely separated the atoms in the wire. The next step is that you're going to add a salt solution. So a solution of just sodium chloride and water. And you add it right in there. What happens there is that the Cl in NaCl really, 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 really likes the Ag that's in the water. And what you end up with is AgCl, 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 AgCl. AgCl. It's a salt. It's a solid compound of a one-to-one -one ratio of silver to chloride. It's a solid. And what's left swimming in the water is just plain copper ions. So you've separated the ions, and then you went and grabbed out the silver with the chloride in a one-to-one -one mole ratio. You don't need to write this down. I will give you plenty of time uh, later to write down what you need. Okay, this is the process continued. So once you have your, your beaker and it had your, you know, you know the, the copper is still dissolved, but the silver and the, and the chloride is a solid, you literally pour it through this fancy funnel called a gooch crucible. And what I've drawn here is that your silver chloride, which will actually be white, not black, will be kind of chunked into a solution of copper um, still dissolved in water. And then it's just a filtration. It's kind of like a, a pressure device. And here's how it works. Here's your faucet. And running water goes through the faucet, creates a low pressure zone. So if you hook a tube up to that, that low pressure gets transferred into your suction flask or your sidearm flask. And air pressure from above literally pushes that liquid through. Otherwise, it simply takes too long to drip this through such a fine porous crucible like the Gooch crucible. We're going to dry it overnight and then we're going to weigh it in the morning and from the weight of the gooch plus the AGCL you're going to subtract and get just the weight of the AGCL. You still don't need to write anything yet, this is just for your background, but now you do. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to want to write down your materials list, you're going to want to write down your data, and then here's your calculations. So I will talk through it and then I'll, I'll give you a chance to pause and write this down. And there's one more page of calculations to do. So let's start with your materials list. You'll need a wire. Now I've put 0.5 dot 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 grams because you need about 0.5 grams but you don't know exactly how much it is. You don't have to have 0.5000 gram wire. You won't get that. But what you do need to know is how much of it you do have. You do need to know it out to the 10,000th place. You will need a gooch crucible with a sidearm flask. 
a beaker. This will be the main reaction beaker that you put the wire and the nitric acid in. You'll need 10 mils of this. I'll have that at the hood so you don't need to get a 10 mil graduate. You're going to need to figure out how much sodium chloride you're going to dissolve in about 20 mils of water. And this is some math that you're going to have to do while you're cooking your silver, your wire, and, and it takes about 15 minutes to cook it. So you're going to be cooking your silver in this beaker with the, with the acid, and then you're going to run back to your lab bench with your partners, actually calculate how much salt you're going to need to weigh out next. So you weigh out your salt, throw it into 20 mils of water in a 50 mil beaker. And then you're ready to go. You're also going to need a rubber policeman, which is simply a, a, a stirring glass rod with a, with a tip. All right, here's the data that you're going to collect. First, you're going to mass out the wire, again, to the right number of places. You're going to mass out your dry gooch crucible. You're going to calculate how much sodium chloride you need and weigh that out and record that as well. Then when all is said and done, and you've dried it overnight, you're going to need the weight of just the silver chloride plus the goose cru gooch crucible, all right, and then subtract you know, this from that, and you'll get the weight of AGCL. All right, now let's talk about calculations, and then I'm going to let you pause in just a moment, okay? So the first calculation you're going to do is, again, find out how much sodium chloride you're going to need. So here's what you do here. You're going to assume the wire that you weighed out is 100% silver. Of course it's not, but we're assuming that because that way we can make sure to grab every single silver ion there is in the water. So you simply take this weight here, the grams of the silver wire, assume it's 100% silver, converting to moles, and recognizing that AG and CL react in a one-to-one -one mole ratio, and then convert that to grams. That will give you the grams of NaCl you need. But this is a really important part. I put then times it by two. And I want you to think back to a video that you're going to see in class on Tuesday as to why that's important, all right? And that's going to be a, a follow-up question you're going to have to answer. So go ahead and pause the video now so you have a chance to write all of this down. And your final calculation is to, well, not actually, next to the last. So you're going to have to find the grams of the silver. Hang, hang on. Dog, sit down. Stay. Um, you have the grams of AGCL that you've collected in the goose, Gooch Crucible. Convert that to moles. And recognize it's pretty simple. One mole of silver is in one mole of AGCL, so that's pretty straightforward. Convert that to grams, and you've got your grams of silver. You've done almost everything now. And just like I showed at the very beginning of this, you take this grams of silver, divide it by your grams of wire, times 100, and there's your answer.